so Rip, Rip was abandoned by mom. She had twins, big red Angus that we have over there. And uh, old Rip, he's been bottle fed. He's very spoiled, like his non-biological mother. Um, but we named him Rip after, of course, everybody knows Yellowstone. Uh, Rip had no mama. This one has no mama. Uh, but he's a good boy. So Rip's going to demonstrate how we, uh, our new new pen and how we use the, the cattle sheep. All right, ignore the audience, but um, kind of walk you through the pen today. We've got really a pretty small setup. We only have about 30 head of cattle uh, at this point, but it's perfect for what we need. And I think we can run you know, really 100 plus head through here uh, pretty efficiently. So the setup we have, we have longhorn cattle as well as Angus cattle. So we have a place to work both. Obviously the horns uh, dictate and how wide the horns are dictate what chute they go down. If the longhorns are, are small enough, we take them through the Angus chute just because it's a little easier to, to navigate. But follow me and we'll walk through this. We've got initially a large pen. The way that we set this up actually real quick, if you look, this gate is a 12 foot gate. This gate is a 10 foot gate. If, so I've got this one to be able to swing. This gate's able to swing through. And this gate's able to swing through here and generally create an alley to keep get the Angus or whatever we're working from our kind of weaning pasture into our I work at pen. So I'm gonna shut this before I get some friends. Go on. Go on. I'm hungry. And you're jealous of Rip, because Rip gets he's spoiled. Alright, so swinging this shut, and this is typically what we would be doing. We'd have run all these cattle in here, all those guys that are standing there would have been worked in here. We'd shut and lock the gate, but to let you guys in here come check out my crib. Back, babe. MTV days back in high school. All right, so Rips our guinea pig. Again, we try to feed the cows out, leave these gates open for a few days to make it easier to get them in. Rip, you ready to get work, bub? Come on. So obviously it's a big pen. We can generally put, when we work cattle, we generally put anywhere from five to 10. You know, we could get the whole herd in here, but it's just easier to work a, a smaller subset. Um, from there, we typically, Pressure. We'll talk about pressure throughout this video. A lot of people think you have to beat the cow over the head or treat them poorly to get them to go where you want. Realistically, just a little pressure. Meaning, if I want to get behind grip and send him this way, obviously he's a little tricky because he's spoiled. But most cows, if you come up behind them, they're going to run the opposite direction. Rips spoiled because he's led by his nose and mouth because he's been bottle fed and hand fed his whole life but if we were going to work three or four of the ten we would open this we'd put pressure on some to go one way some to go the other and then we'd quickly shut this gate behind us so let's see if rip wants to follow us in here same same mantra we're going to shut the gate over there behind behind me Wean in two or three cows. I guess wean is not the word I was looking for. Separate. We'd separate three or four cattle into here. That gate would be shut. Same idea. We'd open up our 180 degree tub over here. I would put pressure. And you know, non-pressure would be me looking away from as if I'm looking away from the camera. Pressure, I'd want to kind of get bigger and put some some pressure on them to go the direction I want. Kind of like we're doing rip here. Come on, bud. We didn't have a tub before, and it's a game changer. So in the, with the tub, you're able to ratchet it down, push the cattle in a safe, calm manner where you want them to go. So obviously, Rip is heading where I want him to go. This spring-loaded arm here allows me to go forward and ratchet them closer, but not. So if I had a rowdy, bigger cow in here and it, it didn't want to head down the alley, obviously this gate would separate us two. Um, but I can easily buy pressure if, if, if we were working a big cow and it was kind of freaking out in there, 
I can remove pressure, give him some space to calm down, come back over to him, and slowly. We're gonna get Rip heading down the alley. All right, Rip. Generally speaking, we don't. We're not gonna. We're gonna poke and prod if you have to here. Rip doesn't want to go into the chute because it looks closed. He's never had to work in the pen. We can really work Rip without the pen because he's so kind of calm. We so just gotta work the cow forward into the chute. Usually a little pressure on the backside. Come on, bub. Allows them to go in. And then we're gonna pull this latch here come on to close the gate behind all oh, rip we love this chute um it's made by real tough uh, hey i got our little longhorn mascot to show you the the real tough uh chute that we we just adore uh essentially we've already talked about how the tub and alley work we would have typically cattle stacked in there in the alley as they come back gate, shut it behind them. From there, we slowly want to work the cattle forward um, into the head section. So generally, it's a poke and a prod in the, the rear end. And then, love having these gates right here. And force the cow forward, but also it gives the folks working the cows the opportunity to kind of go around the cow in a full 360 degree motion. Uh, from there, cows moving forward. Uh, these guys are real handy. I'm providing this. Honestly, it's just a heavy big piece of PVC metal or anything really would work. But if you're able to ratchet the cattle forward here, obviously it can't go backwards. These latches only go one direction. So where it was, we got the cow, depending on the size, how far forward we want. This is I mean, one hand. Addy, Addy, our longhorn, might even be able to do it. Two fingers. You can squeeze it down. It is perfect. Um, one thing that I really love is, if you notice, this is in the way. I can't, I can't get in here to work the cow without just being interrupted by this guy. So, all again, one hand. You're really show, helping me show how easy this is. There's a spring here. You push it in, twist it, latch it out of your way. I'm not real tall, about five ten, but if you were six three, you could move it even further. So once the cow is, you know, in here, head is, you know, the head chute, they're obviously stuck in a position to work the cow. All of these fold down. And I just showed everything about this chute is, uh, I don't know what the technical term from them is, but I, I call uh, slam to shut. So if I'm working the cow shut real fast, I can do it one-handed. A lot of times, that's all you got. One-handed. One-handed. Open this up, get to the ears, get to the neck, shoulder, feet, whatever. And then what I really, we also really love about the chute is a lot of these have it, but you can turn the cow out both sides. So this whole thing is swinging. You can slam to shut. Uh -oh. oh. Poker got in the way there. Slam to shut. I think that's about it. Uh, all around been a right, really, really great investment. Keeps us safe, keeps the cow safe. Nothing but good things to think about it. We've had it for about a year, and it's it's awesome.